make your heart as good as new. Have letter number 5888. January 7, 2017. Your heart is your door opener, and yet, as it is, the door of your heart also finds occasions when it closes. Please know that I understand. You have your own vision as you see it. When your heart feels trammeled, you don't know how to survive and keep your heart stay open at the same time. It is natural and understandable for you to withdraw. It is easy to see how you feel, in effect, that you see no other choice but, perhaps on occasion, to run for your life. Let's find a way to save your heart, your ideas, your way of being in the world, and still go forward. Where your heart gets hurt, what possibilities are there where you can get past the hurt and make your heart as good as new? Please know I understand that there are times when you have to go a different way. Perhaps under the present circumstances, you are not heard. Your needs are not heard. If the topic at hand is your priority, of course, it is difficult for you to go on when your heart feels overlooked and indeed may be overlooked. What does start over mean? If the people who you are currently working together with cannot hear you, maybe give these co-workers another try. If understanding opens up, this is good, and it feels good. If you still feel constrained, then you still have a choice. You have a choice to move on in fairness to all. In this case, you are not retreating. You are not giving up. You are not going away mad. You are not making a compromise. You are making a forthright decision to move in another way. You may not yet know what the other way is, yet it is now clear to you that another way will present itself to you. It will occur to you. It just is what it is next. You have not failed, and the others with you have not failed. Both parties have found out something. This is moving forward. Now there is a new route you will take. There is no loss and no ill feeling. Of course, this is what all parties truly desire. This is like getting over a cold. Congestion is gone, and contention is also gone. This is a fine thing. How does this feel to you? Does it seem real? Does it seem possible? No one compromises. A compromise carries the connotation of selling yourself short, you're giving up something for a resolution, and the other party also giving up something they wanted in the interests of a resolution. The scenario we speak of now is not anyone's giving up anything. This isn't someone saying, oh, well, I'll throw this into the pot in order to gain something else back. No, this is not a halfway measure. It isn't a compromise when it's an example of both parties moving on with peace and goodwill. This is going forward. This is the success of progress. This is much more than a compromise. Progress is being made possible. First, there is the desire for a peaceful conclusion, and then there is one good idea or a mix of ideas that lay down an even path that is good to walk down for all concerned to walk on. No one went to court. No one continues to feel resentment. This is one of the beauties of life on earth. This is within the realm of ordinary everyday resolution. It will arise more and more. No one wins over another. No one is pinned to the mat. There are two winners who, at the very least, come out unscathed, and they shake hands. Life merely modified its stance. What a win for the universe. Like man's reaching the moon, this is a gift for mankind. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org